So this is Coburn. Coburn was established because the New South Wales government refused to allow locomotives of the South Australian Railways to operate in its jurisdiction. Huge ore deposits were discovered at Silverton, which in 1884 prompted the Government of South Australia to offer to the Government of New South Wales the building of a narrow gauge railway line from the limit of its jurisdiction at the border to Silverton, since horse-drawn drays over rough tracks could not meet the transport task for the journey to Port Pirie. This offer was rejected by the New South Wales Government. In response, investors formed the Silverton Tramway Company in 1885 to build the railway line from Silverton to the border. The town of Coburn came into existence in 1886 on the South Australian side of the border as a place for trains to exchange locomotives and crews. On the New South Wales side of the border, the Silverton Tramway Company built a station and sidings called Burns. For 84 years until 1970, Coburn exemplified a busy South Australian Railways interchange station. Locomotives were serviced here, and concentrate trains bought from Broken Hill on the Silverton Tramway were marshalled for their 350 kilometre journey to Port Perry. By 1892, the town of Coburn had become sizeable. The population was 2,000 people. Coburn boasted two hotels, two general stores, three boarding houses, schools and churches. It contained within its business sector a blacksmith, butcher, baker, produce merchant and carrier. Stationed at Coburn were two engineers, a station master, customs officer, locomotive superintendent and a miner. A locomotive shed and related work facilities were recorded as existing in 1892. Seven trains regularly ran between Petersburg, now Peterborough, Coburn and Broken Hill and included passenger trains. In 1892, more than 83,000 passengers travelled through Coburn. Coburn also has a role in industrial relations history in Broken Hill. Tom Mann, a political disruptionist, was banned from speaking publicly in New South Wales. In 1908, 3,000 passengers came from Broken Hill to Coburn to hear him speak. From the front of the hall next to the Coburn Hotel, he addressed the crowd. This was the beginning of a dispute known as the 1909 lockout. Broken Hill mining unionists were locked out of the company gates for rejecting pay cuts which would have been below the minimum wage. The Sandy Gauge Railway Line officially opened in 1970, runs south of the surveyed town limits of Coburn and has a new station on a passing loop. The new station is now disused. Nothing remains of the infrastructure of the railway yard other than an elevated locomotive water tank, repurposed as a bushfire emergency asset. The last buildings, six railway employee houses, were demolished in 2009. So we are now officially in New South Wales. If you enjoyed this video, there are over 600 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when the next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment and feel free to share with your friends. Thanks for watching.